After seeing so many comments about the film Role Transition, I knew I couldn't resist. So in this video, we're diving deep into creating that film strip style transition in Premiere Pro. And trust me, it's easier than it looks. To start, I've already imported to clips onto my timeline. Think of these as your before and after shots. Feel free to trim or adjust them to fit your story. By the way, you can download all project related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. Next up, I'll use this film strip PNG image. Before placing it on top of edit point of these two clips, let's set its speed and duration. Look closely at the time code. It goes hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. I'll set it to for seconds long. You can simply drag and drop just above this edit point. But how will you know where the exact center of this image layer is? Well, one way is to take this clip all the way to the beginning of your timeline. Since our sequence is starting from zero, you can take your playhead right to the two seconds mark or simply set it from this time codes. With the clip selected, you can press M key to set marker. Now it's easy to drag and snap to the center of the image layer right here. With the film strip layer selected, head over to the effects panel and search for transform. You can double click to apply it. From effect controls panel, under transform section, you can increase the scale until the film strip covers the whole screen. Then adjust the Y position to place it where you want. Time for animation. Click the stopwatch next to both position and scale to create keyframes. Make sure your playhead is at zero frame, since my timeline is 30 FPS. Holding shift plus right arrow six times moves us forward one second. That's where we'll set our second keyframe. Now, back at the start frame, increase the scale and Y position until the film strip moves entirely out of frame. To create the rollout, take your playhead to the end of the film strip layer. Now go back 30 frames, that's one second, and lower the Y position until the film strip reached to its top. For scale, just copy and paste the earlier keyframe. Move a few frames forward and paste your starting scale keyframe again, but tweak the Y position slightly to hide that white edge. To give it that buttery smooth motion, set the temporal interpolation to ease in and ease out for all keyframes. Next, fine-tune the motion by dragging the bezier handles, pull one to the left, and the next to the right. This adds that polished feel, so we'll repeat same steps on other keyframes as well. Make sure to take these keyframes to the end of frame. And for extra realism, let's add motion blur. And check use composition shutter angle and set it to 180. More angle equals more blur. Looks amazing, right? Let's push this even further. From the project panel, create a new adjustment layer. I'm setting its duration to half the length of the film strip, which will be two seconds. Find the second keyframe on the film strip and move your playhead there. Drop the adjustment layer at that exact frame to align it perfectly. Let's add effects on adjustment layer. Talking about effects, we'll apply offset and directional blur effects. Notice, password is flick roll. From the effect controls panel, now you can set the keyframe on offset by pressing stopwatch icon next to shift center 2. Before that, to be precise with our values, we're going to shift our center in vertical direction. Therefore, we'll adjust Y value, which is currently 540. But in my case, if I check sequences frame size, its vertical value is 1080. I want to roll it to three times. Therefore, along with 540, let's add 1080 three times. That's our final Y keyframe. Don't forget to take it to last frame, again for that smooth animation, I'm taking same approach as before. Again to set that natural motion blur let's animate blur length, I'm starting from zero. Take this same keyframe to last frame, and at the center of our adjustment layer, we'll set our blur length to 30. 
Select all these three keyframes and set it to ease in and ease out. And this is what you'll end up with. And finally, we can enhance this animation further by adding sound effects. Wait, what if instead of vertical film strip style transition, you want it to be horizontal? In that case, you can take the same approach. You can use this horizontal film strip image. But only the difference is that, now you need to adjust the X position instead of Y. Similarly for our offset, we'll set our Y value back to 540 and animate the X value along with 960. I'll add 1920 three times. Similarly for that horizontal blur direction, now simply you can set blur direction to 90 degree. If you did it without missing any steps, then this is the final result that you'll end up with. Let me know in the comments, did you prefer the vertical or the horizontal version? Until next time.